there, my name is Teresa Quant and I am the unofficial Canva expert for teachers. If you've ever felt overwhelmed creating your resources and materials for your classroom, don't worry, I have you covered. Today I'm going to show you how to use the bulk create tool in Canva and we are going to create three different resources for your classroom in seconds. So get comfortable, grab your laptop and let's get started. The bulk create tool allows you to create projects in mass. So you can create one template and generate as many as you want very quickly. So we're going to start with creating writing prompt slides. So let's say you do daily writing prompts or journal writing with your students. Instead of spending so much time, maybe hours of your time, searching for those writing prompts, putting them in slides. We're going to do it very quickly in Canva using Bolt Create. We're also going to use ChatGPT to help us create those prompts so that we don't have to do it from scratch. Let's first create our slide. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new presentation. So I click cre Create Design, Presentation, and then you can either design a slide from scratch or use a pre-designed template. Now I like to have my grid line box here just as reference because if I keep all of my text inside those grid lines, no matter where I share this presentation, which screen I use, I can be sure that the text won't be cut off. So you can keep that grid line there if you want, you don't have to. So search under templates for any topic you want. We're gonna go with writing. I really only need one slide. So even if, for example, I click on this and they have lots of different slide options, I only need one. So I'm going to use this one and this will be the title of our prompt and then this will be the actual prompt. Now I'm going to head over to ChatGPT to come up with all of my different prompts. With ChatGPT, you want to be very specific with what you want. So I said I need 30 daily writing journal prompts for third grade. I want a mix of narrative, expository, and opinion prompts. Write the prompts in an easy to copy table format with one column, a title of the prompt, and the second column, the prompt. So let's see, sometimes you have to readjust, but sometimes it gives you what you want your first try. And it, it's doing what I want. So this is an easy to copy table, which you'll understand is necessary when using the bulk create tool. I am now going to just copy, select and control C, copy that table. Then I'm going to come to Canva and here's where the fun begins. I'm going to select apps on the left-hand side. I am then going to search bulk create and we are going to enter our, our data manually. Clear your table. This is the title of our journal prompt, and then this is the actual prompt. Now I'm going to control V and paste everything into my table. Done. Now we will connect our data. So I select the title, connect data. I want it, that to be my title. Select prompt, connect data to the prompt, continue, and then generate 30 slides. And now here are all of my slides for an entire month or more for writing for my students. I love the bulk create tool in Canva. Look at that, all our slides are right here. You may want to reformat some of the slides. Maybe you wanna make the text bigger. Maybe you want to change the color of some of the objects on your slide. It's really up to you or you can just keep it as is. Next, I wanna show you how to bulk create task cards. Maybe you want two different task cards to a page. And you can do that using Bolt Create in Canva. I'm going to start by creating a design. I like to do a custom size. It's already in here because I do it often, but eight and a half by 11 inches. You can change the width up here and the unit of measurement. All right, now I'm going to design my task cards. This one I am going to design a little bit from scratch here. I'm gonna to come to Elements and I'm going to go to a grid and I'm just going to use the two frames. That just helps me split my page in half very easily. I'm going to take the spacing down to zero, add a border, and I am going to change the background to different color. I might change the color based on the clip art I find, but for now, let's just go with this teal color. 
I am going to add a box to the center. This is where my writing is going to be. And I want my box to be white, not bright pink. So we're going to go ahead and add the box here. Then I'm just going to copy and paste it to the bottom. You want to design the whole task card beforehand because it's going to duplicate the task cards. You can change the colors from top and bottom to be different and maybe add a variety of clip art to the top or bottom page. But just remember, it's going to duplicate this slide however many times you say. So if I want 60 task cards, I'm going to have 30 that are teal, 30 that are pink. So I'm going to come to my elements here and let's just find some math clip art or maybe just school supplies that we can use here. Find any type of clip art you want to use. This one looks fun and it kind of matches my background. It actually kind of clashes a little bit. So we might change this background here to that yellow color. Do the lighter yellow and let's go ahead and duplicate that to the bottom and maybe this color will do the purple instead do a little bit of a lighter purple okay awesome now i'm going to add text boxes this is where i want the writing and you may have to adjust the sizing after the fact, I try and get it right at the beginning, but depending on how much wording there is, sometimes you need to adjust it after Bolt Create. But I'll start a little big and I'll just put top here. That's going to be our top question. You'll see in a minute when we use Bolt Create why I title them this way. Copy top and then this will be our bottom. Now I'm gonna go back to chat GPT. So the first prompt I said, is that I wanted 60 math word problems for third grade. I want them written in columns, 30 in one column, 30 in another. Make the word problems school themed and a mix of addition and subtraction within a thousand. It did a pretty good job, but I didn't want them numbered. Maybe you do, and that's totally fine, but I did not want my numbered, so I just adjusted it and said, do not number them. Now, just keep in mind, AI can be incorrect. It's not perfect. So you do want to double check everything before you use it with your students. But let's go ahead and create our task cards. On the left hand side under apps, I'm searching for bulk create. I am then going to enter my data manually, clear the table. These are going to be our top task cards. Now we're going to add more text. These will be our bottom. We're going to paste here. Done. Now let's connect our data. Top, select, connect data, bottom, continue, generate 30 designs. As you can see, they're a little bit big here. So I'm actually just going to go back and I am going to change this. Let's just go to 28 for now. And now let's say generate 30 designs to have 60 different task cards, much better. Nothing's coming off the page. You can adjust it to make it bigger card by card or just be good with this. Now you can use these with your students and centers. You can put them under a projector, however you want, but you have 60 different task cards on 30 different pages, two per page. Isn't that so awesome? Last, I want to show you how to bulk create some morning slides for your students. I'm actually going to use a slide template I've created and that you can get for free by clicking the link in my description. I'll have it all below so you can find it there. Now, this is what the finished product looks like where every day you'll have a welcome slide and then I have a good morning message, bell work, and a math prompt. You can see I have these same four slides for 30 days in a row, but I'm going to show you how to do this quickly so you can get it done in literally a matter of minutes. Here's the slide template, and you can see that there are 42 different slides, all super cute, but I only need a few. So I just want my welcome slide, and then we're going to have a morning message. So I'm going to use the good morning slide. I then want to have some bell work, and then I want to do like a math word problem. So I'm gonna come over here to math. And we're going to take this and move it over here. Then I'm going to click here on my grid view. 
and I'm going to just delete all the other slides that I don't need. And then I am going to adjust these a little bit to fit my needs. Change this math one up a little bit by adding some clip art and moving the writing over here. Now this is where the math word problem is going to be. So I'm just going to give these titles so it's easier for me when I connect my data. This is our morning message. Now we're going to head to ChatGPT to help us make we want 20 days of morning slides. Here's the prompt I entered. I want 20 sets of morning slides for third grade. The first slide is a morning message for the month of September. The second slide is some bell work, which could be a writing prompt or a partner activity. And the last slide is a math word problem. I want these ideas in an easy to copy format with three columns, each item in its own column. It did a very good job doing that for me. Control C and copy. And then I'm going to come back here and on the left-hand side, click apps search for, you've got it, bulk create. And we are going to enter our data manually. Clear this table. The first one is our morning message. Our next one is our bell work. And I actually want the title to say message. I don't want anything in my table just yet. Then we'll add some text and that will be our math problem. Paste our data, done. Now we need to connect our data. So I'm going to select my te text, message, bell work, and then math. Connect our data. Awesome. Now just click continue and watch the slides generate in seconds. Isn't this so cool? Okay, so now if I click grid view, I can see I have 20 sets of morning slides. You would start with the welcome slide and then each day go through your three slides. Isn't this so great? So you can start here, welcome to class, and then go to your next slide, happy Tuesday. What are you excited about? Bell work, sometimes you have to adjust the text, that's okay. All the heavy lifting is already done for you. <laughs> you saw it happen in a matter of seconds. I love Bolt Create and can't wait to hear how you use it in your classroom. Now make sure to check all the links in the comments. You'll find links to my Instagram where I have over a hundred different hacks helping teachers use Canva in the classroom. I also have a course for teachers on how to use the very basics of Canva and how to create slide presentations and worksheets for your students, as well as a club membership if you're interested in going more in depth on how to create resources and materials for the classroom and actually selling them on an online marketplace. Let me know in the comments how you're using the Bolt Create tool with your students.